All right, guys, we're working on the Mustang. Uh, pretty sure y'all have missed a lot. I've done a lot of stuff. I might try to put some little clips in here, but I'm doing this, you know, after work, so it's kind of making it hard to make a functioning video out of this. But anyway, um, where we're at, we got the engine out of the donor car. We got this thing pretty much cleaned up and ready to rock and roll. And uh, we got some issues with the motor we got to fix, but I'll show you that real quick. Check it out. Now I remember why I do not like the Fords. <laughs> um, I was raised in a Ford, a Ford family, but I've always hated the modular motor, you know, overhead cam V8s, uh, especially the Fords for this one reason. Let's check this out real quick. Now, these things are known for blowing up because of the time and chains and the guides and all that good stuff. Now, this engine right here, it ran. It ran perfectly fine. No noise, no nothing. But it was on its way. It's a big chunk missing off this guy, which I've already threw it away. And if you look, the mount's like totally destroyed. If you come over this side, it's already cracked. It's just, barely, it's not even, it's just sitting there, okay barely hanging in there see that's not good and you can say that this was from that accident but I don't believe it because it, the crack the damage was only on this side and it doesn't look like it's hit or anything it's just it's falling apart uh, so I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some parts of it down here in this oil pan which I'll get out when I get the oil pan out so stuff like this really sucks for me because I have no way of keeping this really out of the elements and now I have to go inside and order some parts so that's a bummer definitely a definitely a reminder of why ls is better <laughs> so i need to get some new chain guides and uh make sure this thing is in time but like all the the uh the chain guides they were like broken a million pieces uh, it's pretty common for these things i do believe so I've already got them off. They just kind of go right here. I have to go here in a second and pick the new ones up. I've already got them ordered. Um, I'm not going to replace the chains and uh, the tensioners or anything like that. Just put new guides in it. Uh, the chain did get into the oil pump a little bit right there. Um, you can kind of see a little damage where the chain was kind of back and forth. But everything for the most part looks pretty good. So I'm not really going to... Uh, like I said, I want to put a lot of money and time in this thing because this is just a see how this can work out but i got the cover of a new cover right here it's all cleaned up ready to go on got some gaskets some fresh oil um, this harness the power harness was like just oily and cruddy so i cleaned it up cut off some of the old nasty stuff and just wrapped it with black tape just to kind of keep it somewhat protected but it looks a million times better i got the oil pan off i'm gonna throw a new oil pan gasket on here as well and you can see like, there's like parts of the, uh, the tensioner or the guides, just like, it's like all in the pan. The screen on the pickup looks good, uh, so I'm not really worried about it. I'm just gonna pressure wash the oil pan, get it cleaned up, throw a new gasket on it, throw a new timing cover in here, or throw the timing cover on here. And what else? The motor mounts are completely shot. It's not supposed to be wiggling like that. That's a bad thing. Um, so I actually ordered some good mounts for this thing. Uh, already spending more money on it than I wanted to. I was kind of hoping this could be like just a, you know, drop it in and have it running like 350Z was, but this thing is giving me some some issues. Oop, if I can turn this around. I don't know if this happened in the accident or while I was pulling the engine, but you can look. This file cover's got a hole in it. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that yet. I did buy uh, gaskets for valve covers, just because I don't, want, I don't want this thing. It had, you know, it was definitely leaking, but it's hard to tell when an engine's all dirty and nasty. That's why I pressure wash and clean everything. Uh, so it's really hard to tell where it was leaking because oil will kind of creep up and um, get everywhere. So, but yeah, uh, 
going to throw the guides on real quick. So like I said, I gotta go pick those up. Um, they should be in today. And put this thing back together. And we'll have to wait and get the, uh, the engine mounts in. I think they should be in tomorrow. Hopefully get this thing in the car and get it running. But it's working out alright so far, I guess. Um, I just gotta find the time to get this thing rocking and rolling. But anyway, enough rambling. I'm gonna go pick up these uh, the guys real quick and get the timing cover and all that stuff on. And uh, we'll get this thing sitting in the car and get it fired up. All right, we got the timing cover about ready to go on. Um, got the seals in and everything. I don't put any uh, gasket maker down in the groove. Um, that could be a mistake. Uh, can't recall ever having an issue where, you know, I didn't do it and it had caused a leak. But I just like to put some like right there where it's going to meet, you know, basically where this is going to seal the block and, you know, the valve cover is going to seal right here. So I'll probably put like a little dab on the block and then a little dab on top once the uh, valve covers go on. So basically just to protect, because you can kind of see it's not really, oh, it's all blurry. But you can kind of see it's just not, it's not all the way to the end. It's not sealing very good. But anyway, this motor is really, really clean. Um, fingers crossed that I actually got a, a good engine. Look over here. I mean, this thing looks, I was expecting it to look horrible. Like, you know, it had, you know, 240,000 miles on it or something, but uh, this might try to be a pretty, pretty solid motor. And like I said, these, uh, I didn't replace these chaining or timing chain guides just because they really didn't have any wear on them. So I was like, all right, we're just gonna let them ride. So hopefully it's gonna work out pretty good. I verified the timing to make sure that everything was still in time and correct. So looks good to me. I'm putting it all together and just gonna throw it in the car and hope for the best. All right, we got the, the front cover all snugged up, ready to go. Um, I'll probably clean these little areas up right here, and that's where I'll put my uh, silicone. Um, you can kind of see the seal pushed out a little bit. That's good. I'll just put a little dab right there on it to make sure it's actually going to create a good seal. That actually feels like it's high. It's kind of crazy. Huh. It actually feels high on this side. Hmm. That's odd. I'm gonna pretend I didn't feel that. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, we got the oil pan gasket on. Um, it's all blurry. Got the pan cleaned out. Got all those little plastic chunks out of there. I didn't put the front seal in yet. That that might actually be a pretty big mistake. Um, I gotta find something to where I can actually drive this in without damaging the seal. So, so I was kind of intimidated. I don't want to mess with that right now. But, you know, I know we can put it on. That thing is so loose. It's so odd. Anyway, that's like a, the crank position, like reluctor, reluctor wheel or whatever you call them. Like, it's just loose like that from the... I mean, I know the, the pulley is going to sandwich against it and hold it tight. But just like right to left play seems a bit much. Um, I'm sure Ford knows what they're doing, right? But yeah, we're going to put some little dab of silicone right here with the, the front cover meets the block and the same thing on the back over there and uh, throw the oil pan on. I'll have to wait on the uh, valve covers because I'm still unsure what I'm going to do about the damage to them. So I don't know if I want to try to find some used ones or buy some nice aftermarket ones. I don't know yet. Um, I'm just not like a big fan of the two valve. I, I don't even like the way it looks really. Um, so if this motor blows up I'd probably want to do the four valve swap. So. I don't want to buy $200 fancy valve covers and then not run the two valves, so I don't know what to do. And I don't want to spend 100 bucks on some used ones and they have like cracks in them like those, so I guess we'll see. I'm going to throw the oil panel on right now just so I can sit the, the engine down and get it tarped just in case it rains. Um, still have to wait for the engine mounts though, so maybe tomorrow afternoon we can get this thing uh, set in the car to where it'll be. Out of the weather but yeah that's gonna have to wait for another video guys I know I've recorded a couple of clips so I'm probably gonna call it a day on this one but all right guys appreciate you watching and uh, see you on the next one